Thanks for joining us on the newsroom on TV360 Nigeria. Justice Mohamed Liman of the Federal High Court in Lagos has turned down the request for post-conviction bail filed by a former governor of Abia State, Oji Kalu. Kalu was convicted of 7.1 billion naira fraud by Justice Mohamed Idris and was jailed on December 4th, 2019, but he appealed against the judgment at the Court of Appeal, asking to be released from prison on bail pending the outcome of his appeal. But in a ruling on Monday, Justice Lehman dismissed Kalu's application for post-conviction bail for lacking in merit. Still on judicial matters, Justice Ahmed Mohammed of the Federal High Court in Abuja has withdrawn from the fundamental rights enforcement suit instituted by Omoyele Shore. Justice Mohammed ruled that he could not hear Shore's case filed on December 10th, saying it was the fair, just and proper thing to do. In view of the previous publications by Shore's medium, Shahara reporters, accusing him of taking bribes in a case to influence the outcome of his case. He said the accusation put him in a situation whereby if he ruled in favor of Shore, it would be perceived as having been blackmailed by Shore to so rule, and that in the events that he ruled against the activist, he could be perceived as being vengeful. He then ordered that the case file be sent back to the chief judge of the Federal High Court, Justice John Suho, for reassignment to another judge. Operatives of the Lagos State Police Command have reportedly arrested and detained member of the House of Representatives, Shino Pella. A statement by Pella's press secretary, Paula Paula, claims that Pella was at the Morocco police station to bail some of the club Quilox customers who had allegedly packed on the road during a show at the club, but he was then arrested for undisclosed reasons. The lawmaker is the owner of a popular Lagos club, Quilox. The Lagos State Police Public Relations Officer, Bala Okana, is having yet to issue a statement on the incident. The Joint Admissions and Matriculations Board, JAM, has said it will be holding the 2020 Unified Tertiary Matriculations Examination, UTME, between March 14 and April 4. The JAM Registrar, Professor Ishakulu Yode, stated this at a stakeholders meeting on Monday in Abuja, where he met with commissioners for education from the 36th state. The registrar said the registration for the UTME will start on January 13 and end on February 17. Capital market operators have hailed the downward review of the automated teller machines charges by the Central Bank of Nigeria, saying it will boost cashless policy. The CBN had on December 22nd announced a reduction in the withdrawal fee issued a charge for the use of other banks' ATMs by 46.15%, and that's to 35 naira from 65 naira. The CBN stated that the 35 naira ATM fee should be imposed on customers after the third withdrawal within one month. This new directive takes effect on January 1, 2020. A court in Saudi Arabia has sentenced five people to death for the murder of Washington Post columnist Jamal Khashoggi. According to Saudi Arabia's public prosecutor, two top personalities investigated over the killing have been exonerated due to insufficient evidence. Generally, 11 individuals were indicted in the case Five were sentenced to death, three faced jail terms, closely in 24 years, and the others were acquitted. And in sports, Espanyol have dismissed its head coach, Pablo Martin, after just over two months on the job. The club, in an official statement on Monday, said it decided to end his role as coach as a result of the first team's performance. Machine joined the Catalan team in October, replacing David Calego, who was also sacked of the team's performance after just four months on the job. And that's it on the newsroom on TV 360 Nigeria for today. Thanks for watching.